Broadway seems a long way from East Tennessee, but this morning we want to bring part of the smash hit musical Hamilton to you as we welcome Ewan Morton, who currently portrays King George in Hamilton and who will be performing on the DP Culp Auditorium stage this Sunday evening to benefit the Jonesboro Repertory Theater. And welcome also to Jennifer Ross Bernhardt, Artistic Director of the JRT. Thank you all for being here today. Thanks. It's Thank nice you. to be here. I am here. honored. Let's talk about this. I mean, the elephant in the room being part of Hamilton <laughs> is such a <laughs> smash mega hit. Yeah. Uh, you've got to be just joyous and being able to get back, first of all, to rehearsals and getting back to performing. Absolutely. It's been a great, uh, something really missing in my life, uh, but definitely. So it's really nice to go back. I've been with the show for over three right. years now. So this, this new contract will be my fourth year, oh. which is great. I've never done any piece of work for that length of time. So actually, it was really odd to sort of work your way through a long contract like that, playing the same character. I'm only in the show for nine and a half minutes. People tell me I have the best job on Broadway, and I do. <laughs> but when you come on, it yeah. is a showstopper. It really is. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a, a, a different change of pace. And it, the humor and everything that goes with it is, it resonates with people. Well, it's also, yes, definitely, that is true. But there's also that moment of it's slower than anything else in the show. Even the walk is. Uh, the song is much more uh, musical theater than anything else. So I think it's a sort of very odd relief, if that's the right word. Not, not that you need relief, but you know what I mean. It's right. a change that sort of strikes it's really It's almost quickly. like a mini intermission. Absolutely. And I'm also <laughs> dressed, you know, I mean, I'm wearing as many jewels as you could possibly wear. I'm wearing a cape with fur. I'm wearing all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I, I look like a crazy person. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer, so, it's so great to have him here to do this concert that's coming up. Tell us about this concert and why you're having it. Yes, we are so very, very thankful. Uh, we met you and what, what was it three years ago now? Was it that two, long? Two, uh, maybe two, two, maybe two years. Yes, ago. Mm -hmm. um, we went to. He actually was a lecturer at one of our conferences that we go to annually, um, and we were so impressed by his manner and his attitude presentation that um, we decided to see him perform. And we did so the next day. And he invited us backstage, I did. and then we all went out for drinks and we did. dinner, and <laughs> it was. You know, we just formed a friendship, and mm -hmm. um, he came down last year. We gave him the tour of Jonesboro, and he made this most generous offer. Um, um, you know, obviously everything was shut down at that time, that if you need help, I'll come back and help you. And here he is, and <laughs> I, I just, I didn't know that that would happen, because you know, life goes on, people get busy, and um, it's so needed, and we are so, so grateful and appreciative, oh, and so God. thankful. Um, you know, trying to get back on our feet, you know, working very hard toward that goal. We're also working toward a new building, which is going to be opening up, a newly renovated. So all this is happening at the same time, and this timing couldn't be more perfect. And so um, to help us, um, probably the most famous Broadway play in the history of Broadway. <laughs> you <laughs> really know, we is. have mm. King George here. And so, mm. I mean, we're just thrilled and excited. And, and not only is he the most wonderfully talented King George ever, oh. he's also, <laughs> also, he took our breath away when he came out. So literally, we were sitting like five rows and it just took our breath away. Not only that, he is the kindest, most generous person. You really wow. do carry her around to be your moral compass. I told and you. you. And to keep you she, she, <laughs> she's kind of building you up and keeping you grounded that's at the right, same time. Right. Well, I think that's what's so nice about my life um, <laughs> is that I have managed to maintain some kind of groundedness. There are, there are certainly days where you go flying in the sky. I'm sure you know you're on TV. It's hard to keep it down. Um, but at the same time, I've always recognized that I'm lucky, <laughs> not luckier than others, lucky in my own life, um, and, and, I, and I make friends. That's my biggest. We were talking earlier about um, communication and being with each other and sharing our love and our joy, whether it be for art as we have or, you know, whatever music or math, whatever your, your sharing is, and I, I, that's my greatest pleasure in life, more than doing any show, more than, you know, more than driving my nice car. <laughs> uh, not more than my dog, but that's fine. Your dog Tarzan? Uh, and Tarzan, yes. Um, I want to communicate and I want to make friends. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want to make friends. I want to make friends all over America. I get free holidays. <laughs> <laughs> but also I've learned so many things about myself and about other people from these kinds of connections. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I couldn't be happier to do this for JRT. I mean, it's a place that isn't just about, oh, let's make theater, which, right. you know, which is beautiful and great. It's also about let's create community, let's create um, opportunity, uh, and, and let's build a family. It's basically the basis of what I want my life to be. Mm -hmm. So as a learning experience, as well as friendships, JRT has been really a great thing to learn from. I wish we could sit here and talk about this all the all day. Well, I, I really can. do. I, I know <laughs> we have we have people waiting in the wings. Uh -huh. But no, thank you for coming by and, and thank you for what you're doing to help out JRT. Oh, it's my my pleasure, uh, truly. You and Morton, and we got some information on the screen for you right now. You and Morton in concert right there Sunday, August the 8th at the DP Culp Center. And right now, coming up in just a few moments, we're going to be heading over to the kitchen. It's time for the